We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our family member. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Wherever you are joining me from, can we lift up our hand? Let's lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord, our God for today. Let's lift up our hand and bless his holy name. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy, endure forever. Your Lord, your God, my Lord, my God is good. Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and adore him. Lift up your hand and give him praise and give him honor. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's celebrate his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for today. Thank you for our life. Thank you for everything that concerns us. Lord, I want to say thank you for this ministration. Thank you for this month. Thank you for the first day. Thank you for the second day. Thank you for the third day. Thank you for the fourth day. Thank you for the fifth day. Thank you for the sixth day. Thank you for the seventh day. Thank you for the eighth day. My Lord, my God, I want to say thank you for the ninth day yesterday. And for what you are going to do today, the tenth day of this month, the tenth day of this ministration, Father, we return all glory ahead of time. We return all honor, all adoration unto your holy name. Father, as we are come before you today, I ask that, Father, let heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus, heaven of mercy, heaven of favor, because without your mercy, we cannot obtain anything. Without your mercy, we cannot receive anything. My Lord, my God, I ask that heavens of mercy, let it open upon us today in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, your power in your might, visit every one of us, glorify your holy name. At the end of today, let all glory, let all honor, let all adoration be unto your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today's administration. My name is Ariel Laura Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, wherever you are watching us from, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. This month of July is our month of prayer avalanche. Prayer avalanche is online prayer administration where we come together throughout the whole month to pray unto the living God every day throughout the whole month. And uh, to, for this month of um, July, we are having July edition. And the theme is new song, new song. Because you and I, we are going to sing a new song. On that matter, on that issue, you and I, we are going to sing a new song. And you will sing that song in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today's ministration. Today is the 10th day of this month, the 10th day of this program, and the topic for today is my presence will go with you. I want somebody to say, say my presence will go with you. Praise the Lord. This is the promise of God concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your business, concerning your career, that his presence will go with you. As you embark on that journey, concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your business, concerning your career, the presence of the Almighty God will go with you. Concerning your children, the presence of the Almighty God will go with them. Concerning your husband, the presence of the Almighty God we go with him. Praise the Lord. 
The presence of God means a conscious realization of God's absolute influence in and around our life. Realization of God's absolute influence in, upon, and around our life. Praise the Lord. You go beyond um, sudden feeling. What do I mean by sudden feeling? There are some people, when they are praying, when they are worship, during prayer, during worship, uh, or when they are fasting, or when they are in the in the church, when they are within the brethren, amen. At that time, they feel this, they feel this kind of um, thing that, oh, I feel, I feel that the presence of God here, praise the Lord. When we are saying, the presence of God will go with you, it go beyond that. Not sudden a uh, feeling of it, and after you left that presence, after you left that uh, environment, after you left that environment, after you left that program, after you go back to your house, you are not feeling it again. No, that is not what we are talking about. Praise it the Lord. That is not what we are talking about. We are talking about His absolute presence. Anywhere you find yourself, anywhere you are, the presence of God, you feel it, you know that it is there. You see the manifestation there. Praise it the Lord. I repeat again. When we are talking about the presence of God, amen, going with us, it go beyond you and I having that feeling in the church, having that feeling while we are uh, among brethren praying or during special worship program. No, it go beyond that. You are the only one in your house and you feel it. Praise the Lord. That God is there with you. How do you feel it? You feel the manifestation that God is there inside your house with you praise the lord that is what we are talking about that the by the presence of god if the presence of god only is only available while we are in the church the devil will be waiting for us outside at the moment we step outside amen we tell you oh yeah my praise the lord oh if the presence of god is only in our house oh it only appear, it only show up, you only feel it, it's all it's only available when you and I are praying. Ha. The devil will be waiting for us after we finish that prayer to tell us that Oga, Madam, I am here. You have been praying, I allow you to pray. Now that you finish your prayer, now come, let me deal with you. Praise the Lord. But they were talking about anywhere you find yourself, anything that concerns you. You know, you are sure that the presence of God is there. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So I want, you to, I want you to tell yourself, say from today, say the presence of God will go with me. Say in all my devil, in everything that concerns me, wherever I find myself, say the presence of God will go with me. Praise the Lord. As I declare, I declare, the presence of the Almighty God will go with you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you find yourself, wherever you find yourself, your family member, your relative, wherever they find themselves, I decree, I declare today that the presence of the Almighty God will journey with them in the name of Jesus. The presence of God will journey with them. It will journey with them. It will journey with them in the name of Jesus. When we are saying the presence of God will journey with them, we are talking about the presence of God, God himself, his power, his mighty, being present with us. I want to decree and declare concerning somebody that can say amen. You can say it louder, amen. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The presence of the Almighty God from today will journey with you in the name of Jesus. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. Let's open our Bible. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. What we have there in the Bible, we look at the scripture, we look at the benefit of God's presence, and uh, we pray, asking the presence of God to journey with us. And I know that in the name of Jesus, the presence of God from today will journey with you in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your amen. That my sister, 
I said from today, the presence of the Almighty God will journey with you in the name of Jesus. It will journey with you. 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 The presence of the Almighty God from today will journey with you in the name of Jesus. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. Thank you, Jesus. Have you opened your Bible? I want you to open your Bible to that place. Let's read it together. Let's see what we have there together. Are we ready? Please, my brother, open your Bible. Open your Bible. Let's look at it. So that you'll be sure that it is there in the Bible. Amen. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. Exodus 33, 12 to 17. I read from New King James Fashion. Then Moses said to the Lord, See, you said to me, Bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have not let me know whom you will send with me. Which of the angels are you going to send with me? Yet you have said, I know you by name. You have also found grace in my sight. Fast 13. Now therefore I pray, if I have found grace, 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 if I have found grace in your sight, show me your way that I may know you that I may find grace in your sight and consider that this nation is your people. Verse 14. Can we all read it together? Every one of us. Let us read it together. Exodus 33, verse 14. And he said, and the Lord said, my presence will go with you. Every one of you online. The Lord is saying, my presence will go with you. From today, my presence will go with you. Concerning your marriage, my presence will go with you. Concerning your business, my presence will go with you. Concerning your family member, my presence will go with them. Concerning your husband, my presence will go with him. Concerning your wife, my presence will go with her. Concerning your children, my presence will go with them. And I will give you rest. Verse 15. Then he said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up from air. 16. For how then will it be known that your people and I have found grace in your sight? Except you go with us, so we shall be separate, your people and I, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. Verse 17, the last verse. So the Lord said unto Moses, I will also do this thing that you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight, and I know you by name. Praise the Lord. Here we see God asking Moses and the children of Israel to leave Egypt and go to the promised land. But with that, Moses had the voice of God. With that, this man was asking for assurance. He said, Lord, yes, you said we should go, but you did not tell me who you are going to lead, who you are going to send with us. Are you going to send Angel Gabriel? Are you going to send this angel? Which of the angels are you going to send? And he, he, Moses let us know from this scripture, when the presence of God go with us, when God follow us, when his presence go with us to our business, to our career on daily basis, what are the benefits? What are the benefits to us? What are the benefits to our family member? Praise the Lord. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The Lord said, my presence will go with you. Number one thing that will happen when the presence of God journey with us I said, and I will give you rest. My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. What is rest? Absence of problem. Absence of problem. Absence of crisis. 
your life, your marriage, your business, your career, crisis, problem, anything that represents crisis, anything that will give you unrest, anything that will bring discomfort to your life, anything that will bring sorrow, anything that will bring you regret, anything that will make you to doubt your salvation, absent of them is rest. So when the presence of God journey with you, problem will be far away. Crisis will be far away. Praise see the Lord. And uh, it will also lead you. When the presence of God journey with you, you know that you are sure that God is the one that is leading in your business, in your career, in your profession. Mention it. Everything that concerns you, you are sure that the Lord God is the one that is leading. And if it is the Lord God that is leading you in the journey of life, you cannot fail. The enemy cannot overpower you. Regret will be something that will be far away from you. Praise the Lord. Then number three, his grace will be sufficient. His grace will be available. What is the meaning of grace in this time? It means the strength of God for you to forge ahead, for you to carry on in that business. The strength that you need for you to move on, for you to journey, so that you won't be tired, so that you won't be weary, in that your business will be available. Praise the Lord. There are another thing. It will single you out. When the presence of God is in your life, the presence of God single you out for favor, for lifting. See Moses, it says so that we should, will be separate from other people. Moses look at other people as common people. So that you will be king, so that you will be queen, so that, that your business will be separate from of other business so that the scripture will be fulfilled in your life in your business arena where men are saying that's a casting down because you are separated you will be saying that's a lifting praise the lord praise the lord why because the presence of god is journey with you because the presence of god is available for you i have shared this testimony when the Lord God said I should go online, start Sunday service, it took me time. How can I start Sunday service, service online? It's supposed to be, you know, woman brain. Let me start it somewhere. People will come, then we broadcast it. I Lord said, no, go fully online. When I started, it is, to me, it was awkward. To so people around, but before you know it, before you know it, COVID-19 shut down the whole world. That nobody, we are not allowed to go out. Nobody is allowed to go to church. All our churches are shut down for minimum of three months. Some nation, six months. Some nation, a whole year. <laughs> but at that time, I'll be running on my online Sunday service. So people will be coming, we'll be having our Sunday service. If you are not be joining our Sunday service, I won't say you are missing. Write it down every Sunday by the grace of God, 12 noon Nigeria time on this by platform. Sunday service always fantastic. Praise the Lord. So, when the COVID 19 shut down the old church, shut down everywhere, we don't know. Every member of this ministry, we don't know because our online Sunday service just continue. We don't even know that uh, some churches are not having some of my friends who are pastors. One day, one of them called. He said, uh, Pastor, uh, it is now time that we begin to pray seriously unto God so that uh, the government will open the church. I said, why? He said, no, it's really having effect on people. I said, it's not having effect on my own people. And sincerely, it's not having effect on my own people. I have people who are doctors, who are nurses. I have people who, are, who work in critical, what do you call it? Criti in my critical emergency. Every day, they resume uh, in uh, COVID-19, with COVID-19 people, uh, people, they they minister to them, doctors and nurses. Before COVID-19 show up, the Lord said we should begin to take communion for protection, communion for protection against death, against crisis, against death, for protection against death. So when it show up, we have we have we have immunity, all of us. So anytime they send me say, Pastor, I'm on duty. I'm going to, <laughs> I just said, don't worry, go. And to God be the glory. 
we did not lose any members. None of our members, none of them have the symptoms throughout. And every day, they, they are doctors, they are ministers, that they minister. Praise the Lord. If you are not be joining our online Sunday service, you better hurry up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So when my friend was not saying, uh, Pastor Ray, it's having effect on our people. I said, for me, for my members, it's not having effect on them. He said, because they are not coming to church, they don't have access to prayer. My people were having access to prayer. And they are not coming for Sunday service. My people, we are having our Sunday service. That was when they now said, how are you doing it? Because there is a lockdown. I said, but for me, praying the good member, we do have a lockdown. If you are one of us then, can you shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord. The scripture was fulfilled. When men are saying that they cast it down. Because we have the presence of God, we are saying that it's a lifting. I pray for every one of you that you are online today. As a result of the presence of God, henceforth, in that business, when people are complaining, when people are complaining about economic shutdown, financial shutdown, you, because the presence of God is in your business, the presence of God is in your life, you shall be saying, there is a lifting in the name of Jesus. When the presence of God is with you, there will be fullness of joy. The Bible says, in the presence of joy, in the presence of God is the fullness of joy. The fullness of joy. When the presence of God is with you, you have defined favor. Somebody say defined favor. Because the Lord God is the one that leads you to that place. He will grant you favor. Anywhere you appear, they will favor you. Praise see the Lord. When I hear some people say, Pastor, I, I submit a proposal. It's not granted. Because you did not ask for the presence of God. When the presence of God follows you to that place, they will favor you. Praise the Lord. When I hear people saying, Pastor, please pray with me in my business, in my office, where there is an issue. I only pray, oh Lord, let your presence go with them to that office. When the presence of God follow you to that office, they will favor you. If they go to sack other people, they will not sack you. They, you will be exempted. Yes, you hear me. Because you carry the presence of God. Praise the Lord. When the presence of God is with you, you have deeper revelation and encouragement. Whatever is happening in your life, whatever is going to happen, you will have deeper revelation about it. And you will be encouraged to continue. Praise the Lord. When the presence of God is with you, there will be comfort. The Lord will make everything that concerns you to give you comfort. When the presence of God is in your life, there will be anointing that breaks yoke. Yoke of sickness. Yoke of uh, hardship. Yoke of discouragement. Yoke of disunity in that marriage. It's because the presence of God is not in that family. When the presence of God is in that family, hear me, sir, hear me, man. He break the yoke of disunity in that family. Praise it, the Lord. When the presence of God is there for you, there will be physical and spiritual healing. Physical and spiritual healing will be available. When the presence of God is there with you, praise it, the Lord. Body will be lifted. Body will be lifted. Solution to long-time battle. Solution to long-time difficulties. That will be divine provision because the presence of God is there with you. I pray for every one of us. Starting from today, anywhere you appear, everything that concerns you, the presence of the Almighty God will be available in the name of Jesus. The presence of God will be available. The presence of God, as you go to that office, as you come back home, as go for that presentation, as go for that proposal, the presence of the Almighty God will go with you in the name of Jesus. His presence will go with you. We go with you. We go with you in the name of Jesus. Before we pray this morning, how do I enter into the presence of God? What can I do so that the presence of God will be available for me all the time? Number one, you need a personal encounter with God. Personal encounter with God. When we are talking about personal encounter with God, we are not talking about people running from one church to another. That is not an encounter with God. You are in this church today, another church tomorrow. No. Give your life to Christ. When you give your life to Christ, dedicate your life, everything about you, unto Him. Praise the Lord. 
dedicate everything that concerns you unto him. Let Satan know. Let the devil know that you have dedicated your life, that everything that concerns you, you have released them unto God. When you release them unto God, God watch over them. So Satan cannot tamper with what God is watching over. But many of us, we don't want to give our life to Christ. We don't want to release our marriage, our husband, our wife. We want God to do our own bidding. Ah, <laughs> praise the Lord. After passing the encounter with God, learn to worship Him. Learn to praise Him. Learn to worship Him. In any situation, anywhere you find yourself, learn. Not, when, not until something happens. Not until you have, you have... For you to be alive, it's a testimony on its own. When you wake up in the morning, lift up your hands, celebrate God, worship Him, thank Him. Some people, when they are, it is when they are going out, Lord, as they are tying their bun, tie, doing their tie, doing their uh, body, Lord, I, I appreciate you today. As I go to work today, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Uh, no evil will before me. Holy Spirit, go with me. That's the morning devotion. <laughs> you are playing. You are not serious. You are playing. <laughs> Did I, should I say it again? You are just playing. You are not serious. You can't talk to your father like that. You can't talk to your governor like that. So you don't want to talk to God like that. As I go out today, Holy Spirit, you are, you are, you are doing your time. Holy Spirit, good morning. As I go out today, oh my Lord, my God, go with me. Ah. <laughs> Learn to wait on him. Learn to wait on him. Today is the day 10 of this program now. I have some people that they are fasting. Not for me, but for them, for themselves. They are waiting upon the Lord. Lord, you said this is our month of new song. On this matter, I want to sing a new song. Praise be the Lord. Learn to wait on him. When God said, wait, wait on any matter. Moses said, God said, Moses, go. But Moses said, I will not go until I have assurance that you asked me to go. But many of us, we, God, should I go? Should I go? I should go. 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 If my hand should hang there, that means I should go. 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 Oh, it has ended, so I should go. What is that? Some people say, eh, 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 if I open the Bible now, any first scripture that I saw and I read it, that, that is what God is saying. Pee. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. What are you doing? <laughs> is that to wait? No. <laughs> Gabbling. And funny enough, when they open a place and the scripture, they don't like it, they close it again. They say, I will do it again. Ah, that is how to wait on God. You wait on God in the place of prayer. You wait on God in the place of his word. His word. His Bible. The Bible, the word of God. You read. You meditate. You meditate. Some of us, for us to read Bible is always difficult. When you take your Bible, you read for five minutes, you are sleepy. One minute, you are sleepy. And you can watch movie for hours. You can go on YouTube for hours. You can go on Facebook, browsing, eh, watching for hours. But for you to read Bible and seek the face of God, meditate on his word so that he can see, speak back to you. Two minutes, too difficult. No. You just need to learn it. Praise the Lord. And as you are waiting, as you are watching, as you are reading, meditate on the Bible, you ask, Lord, your will for my life. Lord, I need your I need your presence on this matter. Lord, I'm waiting on this matter. Praise the Lord. And uh, learn to follow to the last letter. What do that mean? Some of us, when God asks us to do something, because we don't like that thing, because that is not what we want, we do, we say we will not do. Uh, it cannot be God. You know that it is God. That is disobedience. So if it's not the one, if it's not what you want, you will not do it. But if it is what you want, you will do it. Selective obedience. There's nothing like selective obedience before the Almighty God. If God asks you to do five things, if you do four and one, you abandon it. That is disobedience. Let's learn. Whatever God asks you to do, do it. As you are doing it, you will begin His presence. You will be feeling His presence. Praise the Lord. May the Lord God bless each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. May His presence be known in your life. May His presence be known in your marriage. 
May his presence be known in your business and your career in the name of Jesus. Somebody, can you shout it loud and clear? Say the presence of God from this time will go with me. Say concerning my business, concerning my career. Say the presence of God will go with me. Say concerning my children, the presence of God will go with them. Praise it the Lord. Can we lift up our hand and appreciate God for our life? I want you to appreciate God for this day, the day 10 of this month. Appreciate Him because from today, His presence will begin to journey with you. Appreciate His holy name. Give Him thanks. Give Him praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Luke 1 35. Luke 1 35. Please open your Bible to Luke chapter 1 35. Luke 1 35. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. And the angel answered. Let's take it from 34 so that we understand. And Mary said to the angel, This is my new song. How will it happen? God is promising us new song this month. Somebody may be asking, Pastor, this new song, how will it happen? Verse 35. This is how it's going to happen. And the angel answered and said unto him, And uh, the, uh, the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Number one, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Number two, the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, that only one who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Number one, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, will come upon you. Then number two, the power of the eye, the power of the Almighty God, will overshadow you. When those two things happen, the presence of God is available. Miracle will be available. Testimony will be available. Wonders will be available. Peace will be available. There will be physical healing. There will be spiritual healing. There will be emotional healing. Body will be lifted. There will be solution. There will be anointing to break yoke. There will be comfort. There will be encouragement. There will be divine revelation. There will be divine instruction. There will be rest. God, 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 the hand of God for leading will be available. Grace, strength for you to continue in the journey of life will be available. The spirit of the living God, the power of the Almighty God. So you are going to lift up your hand. Say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. Say, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, so Lord my God, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Fill me with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Fill me with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Fill me with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. Fill my life with your spirit. Fill my marriage with your spirit. So, Lord, my God, fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Revelation. Say, he that hath here, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Am I right? He that hath here, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Does it mean that some people do not have ear? No, we all have ear. Every one of us, we have ear. But we are not talking about this ear. We are talking about the spiritual here. And the spiritual here can only function when the spirit of the living God is upon you. When the spirit of the living God is upon you, your spiritual here, your spiritual eyes will now function. That is when you'll be able to hear the pray, will you be able to hear the fine direction, what you are supposed to do, what you are not supposed to do, where you are supposed to go, when you are supposed to go, go. Define direction. Define direction. Some people, they receive defined direction, but it was too late before they hear it. What are you supposed to do this year? You are not receiving it in two years' time. What you are supposed to do 10 years ago, you are not receiving it now. 
No, you're supposed to have done it 10 years ago. If a prophet, that is why I always encourage people, learn to hear God yourself. There are three types of revelation. Yesterday revelation, today revelation, tomorrow revelation. Yesterday revelation, today revelation, tomorrow revelation. Yesterday prophecy, today prophecy, tomorrow prophecy. If you meet a servant of God, if you meet a prophet, and the Lord God open his eyes, and they show you solution to problem of 10 years ago, and you are, not run, you are running with that solution, it will not work. It will not work. You need the prophecy for today. You need the prophecy for today. So many of us, what we are running with is solution to last year, to 10 years ago. God promised you bicycle. And this is what you are supposed to do and get bicycle. When you are say, uh, like 8 years old, 10 years old. And a prophet, when you are now 40 years old, a prophet saw the revelation and said, my sister, God wants to bless you. But this is what you need to do. The prophet did not see the bicycle. Or the prophet may even see the bicycle and may term it as a gift. Oh, God wants to give you a gift. He will not tell you that it's a bicycle. God wants to give you a gift. This is what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do when you are 10 years old so that your uncle will buy you a bicycle. You are not doing it now. Bicycle will not come. So gift will not come. And it's like, and what the man of God told me, asked me to do, I have done it, but there's no testimony. You are working on yesterday revelation. But when you have the spirit of the living God, when it's upon you, when the Holy Spirit come upon you, he will tell you what you need to do. So whatever a prophet is going to tell you, just to confirm, lift up your hand. Say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, my God, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, my God, fill me with your spirit. 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 Say, my father, my father, my father, fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus, fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Holy Spirit. I want you to shout it. Say, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, fill me up afresh. In the name of Jesus, fill me afresh. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Holy Spirit, fill me afresh. What is the meaning? Some people say it is not good for us to be asking Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. He said, because the us we gave our life to Christ and Holy Spirit come. Ah. When you read the Bible, number one in the Old Testament, you see that the manifestation will come and go, come and go, come and go. Praise the Lord. Praise the living job. When you pray that prayer, Holy Spirit, fill me afresh. The power needed for yesterday battle is different from the power needed for today's battle. Here, Mr. Herman, when you overcome that battle, Satan will still come tomorrow again. So you need another empowerment. You need a, another empowerment. Satan is like chameleon, so that you get it right. Satan is like chameleon. Today, it will come in green color. You need green to attack it. Tomorrow, it will come in yellow color. So if you don't want to use green to attack, it will not work. Next tomorrow, we will change color. That is why you see some people, oh, headache today. They will be treating headache. Another time, it will not, it's not going to be headache. It will be another thing. It's still the same Satan that is coming in different format. So for whatever it's bringing, you need divine empowerment to counter it, to face him. So Holy Spirit, say, fill me up afresh. Lift up your hand. So Holy Spirit, Fill me up afresh in the name of Jesus. Has the spirit of the living God to fill you up afresh. Says Holy Spirit, fill me up afresh in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up in Jesus' name. We are praying. And he said, and the power of the eye will overshadow. 
What is the meaning of overshadow? To incubate, to cover, to cover, to incubate. When Holy Spirit incubates you, when He covers you, there's this fire that it will generate. Just like when, when Mother Hen lay egg, the egg will be there. It will not form, it will not hatch. Until the Mother Hen now incubates, sit on the egg. Sitting on the egg, she is trying to generate it. And it is that it that will make the egg to form to another sheep. Here, Mr. Hyaman, you need Holy Spirit to come upon you. You need Holy Spirit to overshadow you. You need Holy Spirit to incubate you. So that the fire you need, you will be able to generate it. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. So Holy Spirit, incubate me with your power. So Lord, my God. So Holy Spirit, incubate my life. With your power, so overshadow my life. With your power, so Holy Spirit, overshadow my life. With your power, overshadow my life. With your power, Holy Spirit, 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 overshadow my life. With your power, as Holy Spirit. To overshadow your life, your marriage, your business, your career with his power. In Jesus' name, we pray. As Holy Spirit overshadow your life with his power, and that Holy Ghost, the fire of Holy Ghost is being generated in your spirit. There are some things, anything in your system, those of us who are having ailment, anything in your life that will not give God glory, any stranger in your life, that fire will point them out. So Holy Spirit, purge my life, purge my spirit, soul and body. Say fire of God, purge my body, purge my life, purge my spirit, soul and body. Say Holy Spirit, say fire of God, purge my body, purge my life, purge my spirit, purge my body. Holy Spirit, purge my life, purge my body, purge my spirit, purge my body. In Jesus' name we are praying. Lift up your hand again. Say power of God. I want you to shout it loud and clear. Say power of God. Say overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. When the power of God overshadowed the life of Mary, the pregnancy was formed. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Today, as the power of the Almighty God is going to overshadow your life, the pregnancy of good thing will be formed in your life in the name of Jesus. The pregnancy of new songs. We be forming your life in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say power of God. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my marriage. Overshadow my work. In the name of Jesus. Power of God. Overshadow my life. Power of God. Overshadow my life. Power of God. Overshadow my life. Pray that prayer. Ask for the power of God to overshadow your life. In the name of Jesus. Power of God. Overshadow my life. Power of God. Overshadow my life. Power of God, overshadow my life. Power of God, overshadow my marriage. Power of God, overshadow my business. Any area of your life, any area of your life that you want new thing to be battered, any area of your life that you want to sing a new song, you mention that area. Power of God, overshadow my life, overshadow my work, overshadow my health, overshadow my business, overshadow my career, overshadow my marriage. In the name of Jesus, my children, my wife, my husband, power of God, overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to declare and declare? Let the power of God overshadow your life. Power of God for new things to be formed. Power of God for new things to be created in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. Decree and declare, power of God overshadow my life. Power of the Almighty God overshadow my life, overshadow my marriage, overshadow my business. Overshadow my career. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Power of God to overshadow your life. In the name of Jesus, power of God. Overshadow my life, my marriage, my business, my career. Power of God. Overshadow my life. 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 Decree and declare. As that power of God overshadow your life, new things will be created. 
There shall be creative miracle. There shall be creative miracle. New things will be formed in the name of Jesus. In your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, the Lord will start new things. New song will be created. New song will be formed. Say, power of God, overshadow my life. Power of God, overshadow my children. Power of God, overshadow the work of my hand. In the name of Jesus, mention your career. Mention your career. Mention your business. Let the power of God overshadow it. In the name of Jesus, power of God. 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 Power of God, 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 power of God. Decree and declare it. Let the power of God overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. The power of God for new things to be formed, for new things to be created. Decree and declare. Let it overshadow your life. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your hand. Say, Oh Lord, my God. Let your presence overshadow my life. The presence of God. So, Lord, my God, let your presence overshadow my life, my marriage, my business, my career. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord, my God, let your presence overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus. My marriage, my business, my career. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Remember what I said is the meaning of the presence of God. What we mean by the presence of God. The presence of God simply means conscious realization of God's absolute control, of God's absolute influence on our life and around us. On our life and around us. On your marriage, around your marriage. On your business, around your business. Absolute in the influence of God. That means God is one that is having total influence. And people can see it. You can see it. People can see it. Ha, this man, we said this man will not rise. And this man is rising. He's not just rising. He's rising with speed. Oh, we said this man, this is how we not get married. But she just get married. We thought that, oh, within a short period of time, they will, they will send her out. But instead of them to send her out, every family, they all the husband family, they are just taking care of her. That is what we are talking about. It is real. In the book of Art, the enemy said, notable miracle, undeniable testimony that we cannot deny. He said, through the hand of the apostle, God has wrote a notable, underline, notable miracle, and we cannot deny it. The enemy cannot deny it. The enemy cannot deny it. We said she will not marry. And uh, they receive your invitation, uh, wedding invitation card. Praise the Lord. They say your business, we are finishing. The remaining days of your life, you will be begging. But suddenly, you will employ them. You will employ their father. You will employ their mother. You will employ their children. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They are sweeping. You will employ them as gardener. You will employ them as sweeper to be sweeping the compound. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No when they are sweeping, they will be biting their finger. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because their life, their destiny will now depend on your shoulder. If you don't pay their salary, they will be. <laughs> Praise ye the Lord. Lift up your hand. The presence of the Almighty God. The presence of the Almighty God. We are talking about, about tangible testimony that is real. That the enemy cannot deny it. Enemy cannot deny it. Lift up your hand. So, Lord my God, let your presence overshadow my life, overshadow my marriage, overshadow my home, overshadow my business, overshadow my earth. In the name of Jesus, mention every area of your life where you want to sing a new song and ask the presence of God to overshadow that area. In the name of Jesus, presence of God overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus, presence of God overshadow my marriage. In the name of Jesus, presence of God overshadow my business. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Let the presence of the Almighty God, let it overshadow your life. Let it overshadow your marriage. Let it overshadow your business. Let it overshadow your career in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. When the presence of God overshadow your life, when the presence of God overshadow your life, according to uh, Exodus 33, 12 to 17, the first thing that will happen is there will be peace. 
What is giving you concern? What is giving you headache? What is giving you tough time? There will be solution to them. So, Lord my God, say I decree, I declare by your presence, I decree peace. Say I decree peace upon my home. I decree rest in my business. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the presence of God. Say I enter into rest. Rest from struggle. Rest from sweat and struggle. Rest from delay. Rest from sickness. Rest from satanic attack. Rest from delay. Rest from setback. Rest from failure. Rest from attack. Say I enter into rest. In the name of Jesus. Say my life. My marriage. My business. My career. Say by the presence of God. We enter into our rest. In the name of Jesus. From crisis. From problem. Say we enter into our rest. In the name of Jesus. We enter into our rest. We enter into our rest. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, Father, open my eyes, open my ear to wondrous things from you in the name of Jesus. When the presence of God comes, He will tell you what to do. He will tell you what to go and meet. He will tell you what, what you are doing that you are not supposed to do. What you have been doing that is not giving you results. The Spirit of the living God will tell you what you have to do that will not give you results. Why? Because your eyes will be open, your ear will be open for divine instruction. I keep saying this. Um, two years ago, two years ago, one of the prayer avalanche, uh, the, the team of that one is just a word, just a word, precisely July, oh, last year, not last year, November 2021, just a word, November 2021. A sister shared a testimony after it that she will never, never forget that particular prayer avalanche. He said, Pastor, because the Lord gave me a word that changed my life, that changed my marriage, the course, the way I'll be going, everything I'll be thinking about, there will not be hidden results. She said, I received a word, just a word, during that prayer avalanche. And when I applied the word, everything that has been giving me headaches, everything turned around. Nobody prayed for her. He <laughs> praised that Lord. She said, I received just a word. And hear me, say, hear me, man. This prayer avalanche, the theme is new song. There's a word that you must receive so that you go and play it. I mean, you go and act it. You go and, you go and, you go and, you go and put it into use, into practice in your business. And before you know it, breakthrough that you have been asking for over the years, it begin to follow you. It begin to run after you. People that you run to, to help you, that when they know that you are coming, they will shut the door. They will tell the security man, tell, him, tell her, I'm not around. You will call them. They will be looking at the phone call, uh, your call. They will pick your call. Hear me, sir, hear me. You will not run after them. Because the Lord God will raise men and women who are better than them to support you. Lift up your hand. Say, oh Lord my God. Say, open my eyes. Open my ear to one just thing from you. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, open my eyes, open my ear to that revelation, to that instruction that will bring about a total turnaround that will give me my new song. So, Lord my God, open my eyes, open my ear to them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, power of God. Every one of us, can we lift up our hand? Say, power of God, say, hand of God, that open closed door, that open strict door, that open strange doors, say, come upon my life today, in the name of Jesus. Do you hear that prayer? Say, power of God, hand of God, that open closed door, that open strict door, that open strange, strange door, say, come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, why not ask for that power of God? Ask for that hand of God to come upon you. So that that closed door, the door that the enemy has shut strictly, and they have put an order that no one should open it for you, so that on their own, the door will begin to open for you. Say, power of God, the hand of God, that open such door, come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, 
every closed door, every strange doors, every sick door, every door of breakthrough that the enemy has shut against me, hand of God, power of God, that will open them, rest upon my life, rest upon my business, rest upon my career, in the name of Jesus, rest upon my life, rest upon my business, rest upon my career, in Jesus' name we are praying. Lift up your hand. Say, God of mysteries, visit me today. Mystery means wonders. Mystery means wonders. Am I right? Say, God of mysteries, visit me today. Do a mysterious work. Do a strange work. Do wonder in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in the name of Jesus. Say, God of mysteries, God of wonder, visit me today. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. Visit my business. Visit my career. In the name of Jesus. Say, God of wonder, visit me today. God of mystery, visit my life. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. Visit my business. Visit my career. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up your hand. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree revival. Upon every area of my life, say I decree reset, say I decree restoration, say I decree revival, I decree reset, I decree restoration, say I decree revival, I decree reset, I decree restoration in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare upon every one of you, as you have decreed and declared, so shall the Lord do for you in the name of Jesus. And according to Hebrews 10 37, the Lord said this season, during the course of this program, he that must come will not tarry will come. Your helpers of destiny that must show up. Your helpers of destiny that must show up. Your business partner that must show up. He that must partner with you. He that must come to work with you. Every business owner. Here, Mr. Hiyama. Those that must come to your organization to work as if that organization belongs to them. That they will not wait until you give instruction before they work. I decree, I declare. He that must come to your life, for your life, for your marriage, for your business, for your career, to move forward and upward. I decree, I declare, let the Lord God release them in the name of Jesus. Let them come forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. As you go today, let the presence of the Almighty God go with you. Let the presence of God go with your business, in your career, your husband, your wife, your children, everything that concerns you. Let the presence of the Almighty God go with you and grant you peace and grant you rest in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Great praise the living Jesus. Before I pray for those of us whom God is using to partner with us, I want to bless the name of our Lord, our God. I announced last week, there is this uh, one of um, orphanage. Is two in one, an orphanage and a, a school, free school. Any child in that orphanage, they give them free school, free scholarship. Amen. To the glory of God, the 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 woman in charge was led to ask our Lord, to ask our God, to minister to them, and uh, not just one day, every month, so that we'll be bringing the freshness of God, the power of the Almighty God, to be praying for them every month, so that we'll be coming there to pray for the children. And to the glory of God, we were there last week, Saturday, by the grace of God, we were there, and the children were happy. And um, one of us, one of our, my fathers online, amen, one of us gave us Bible that we should give to those who, I was there with those Bible. <laughs> oh, no, no, told me that those children, they have Bible. But when they saw the, the new Bible, they told their auntie, we don't want that Bible again, we want this new one. Praise the Lord. We minister to them and uh, we give them the word of God. And uh, I believe that the Lord God has started the new thing in that place. Praise the Lord. We are not only here to pray, we are to also minister to people. Praise the Lord. And um, the, same, the same Saturday, the same Saturday, with the help of God, we also minister so I know that orphanage too. One thing I won't do is this. <laughs> because Jesus Christ said we should not do it. I have the pictures. 
because the those people say we should take picture. I said no, it's not my style. And they say no, we they have to take picture. <laughs> Amen. But I won't. I'm sorry. I won't come online and display the picture. We went to so 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 place. We minister this. We minister that. No, Jesus Christ said, whatever the right hand do, the left hand must not see. What is the meaning? When you help somebody, you don't need to announce. So it is not the. It is not biblical for us to do anything for a child of God to do anything and announce. A servant of God, a child of God, sometimes he go send some money and say, Pastor, please can you help me give this money to widows? But on one condition, don't tell them that it's from me. Don't give them my number. They should not know the source. Just give it to them. That is Bible. That is scriptural. Praise it the Lord. So I want to appreciate God for that. And uh, for every one of you who partner with us, we see your seed, with your offering, with your tithe. Apart from using it to come online, those are what we are using it for. To God be the glory. So I pray for every one of you that God is using to minister to us so that apart from minister to people online, you can also minister to people also physically. As God is using you to lift the hand of this ministry, God will raise men and women for you that will lift up your hand in the name of Jesus. Every one of you partner with us with your seed, with your tithe, with your offering, every one of you who are giving to this ministry, every one of you who have ever given to this ministry, every one of you who are proposing to give to this ministry, I pray for every one of you. I pray for every one of you. May the hand of the Almighty God for lifting, may He rest upon you in the name of Jesus. May God increase you. May God enlarge you in the name of Jesus. For those of you who are saying, Pastor, this is the kind of thing we love. You are welcome to partner with us. You are welcome to join with to join us with your seed, with your offering, with your tithe. The only thing I will promise you is this: you cannot partner with the work of God, and God will not reward you. No, it is not possible. It is not in the Bible. What we have in the Bible is anyone that partner with God, God always bless them. I know as you join me on this assignment. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will enlarge your course in the name of Jesus. As every one of us go today, I declare, I declare, peace of the Almighty God. Let it rest upon us in the name of Jesus. And before we go, today is the second Monday. We're supposed to have our uh, prayer for the nation. Let's just use two minutes to pray for our nation so that we need to come back in the evening. Where are you right now? I want you to mention your country. You lift up your hand. Say, concerning my nation, concerning my country, say, I decree peace of the Almighty God upon this nation in the name of Jesus. Mention the name of your country. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, concerning my country, say, I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree peace. In the name of Jesus, say the decree peace. In the name of Jesus, say the decree peace. In the name of Jesus, so shall he be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The peace of the Almighty God will rest upon our nation, will rest upon our country. In the name of Jesus. Till we meet again tomorrow, day 11, go forth. Let the presence of the Almighty God go with you. Jesus' name.